Um, what should I expect from my new extremely gay roommate? We are stranger and he is subletting. Uh, we share a bathroom. Ooh. <laughs> Expect a lot of hair care products with pubic hairs on them. Um, I don't know what to expect from your new gay roommate. It depends on what kind of gay he is. He could be a young, rainbow flag wearing, obnoxious, gay, just out, still reacting kind of defensively and projecting his gayness everywhere. There's a stage in a lot of young gay men's life, I'll call you one second, stage in a lot of young gay men's life that's really analogous to that frat boy stage for straight guys, where they're so super straight. It's so annoying, <laughs> and they're just like, and it passes, unless they're jerks. Like anybody, somebody who's in a frat at college, it's kind of excusable. Somebody who's in a frat at 28, emotionally or mentally or physically, is kind of pathetic. The rainbow windsock waving 20 year old fag is kind of understandable and excusable. The rainbow windsock waving 38 year old fag or 28 year old fag is kind of pathetic. Um, so I don't know how old your new roommate is, extremely gay, uh, roommate, um, <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means, like, he's not just a little gay, he's not like, you know, an inch of gay frosting on a foot thick straight cake, he's like, it's like the Queen Mary floating in a tub of lube, I don't know what that means. And we share a bathroom. There's an implied concern about a threat there, I think. <laughs> I promise you, your, straight, your gay roommate will not uh, rape your ass in the bathroom in the middle of the night, um, unless he does. Yes? <laughs> it's your roommate and you're a lady. He's like fierce, fierce pose. He's through like fierce, fierce pose? Um, <laughs> that could mean that he's very like effeminate. He likes to say, that. He likes to say fierce, fierce pose? <laughs> You know, sometimes that just makes the fucking world go round, those little faggots. They win Project Runway, they do your hair. Um, sometimes it's an affectation, and sometimes it's not. You often hear, I get letters from people say, you know, my friend came out, now he has a gay voice. He didn't used to have this gay voice. Now he's kind of got like a higher register and a gayer voice. He sounds more like a lady than he did before. Why is he doing that? Why is he acting like that? Why is he so affected? And the truth is, the straight voice was often the affectation. You know, when they look at the, the markers uh, that point to a genetic cause of homosexuality, they rattle off all these things, like a gay man's index finger is the same length as a straight woman's index finger, and the gay male hypothalamus is shaped similar to a straight woman's hypothalamus. Uh, the lesbian inner ear is shaped like the straight male inner ear, and then there's all the way we respond to pheromones. There's all these sort of like, he's a dude, but he has these, sig these, these signifiers that are sort of female. He could also have a lady voice box and a lady voice naturally, just like most women have feminine, for lack of a better word, sounding voices naturally. And the dude voice, the three drop, the, you know, the drop three octaves monosyllabic shit was the act. And the fierce, fierce pose is the reality of who he is. <laughs> And they make the world go around. Those are good. You know, I like, you know, the knuckle-dragging straight boys as much as the next gay guy every once in a while. <laughs> it, it takes all kinds. You know, most straight, you know, most guys are a certain way. Most women are a certain way. And around the edges, there's a lot of variance and difference. And the problem isn't that most are a certain way. It's that we've persecuted the people who are a little different around the edges instead of just accepting that there's going to be a little difference around the edges. And it helps to find the center when you see the difference around the edges. It's not an attack. And I wish people wouldn't perceive it that way. Gay male effeminacy is not an attack on women, and it's not an attack on straight men. <laughs> or their bathrooms. It's not an attack on your bathroom. Um, 